Welcome back. We want to look at the Kitty election. Uh, what happened and lessons to be learned from that election. I know that it has come and gone and some um, critical stakeholders of democratic uh, projects in Nigeria are watching and had watched that election. And we know that um, the 2019 election is around the bend. We want to look at these lessons that will move us into 2019 elections. But we have our guest in the studios today is a former executive director of Nigerian American Council, Washington, D.C., and also a politician, Honorable O.K. Samuel Mbono. Good morning to you, Honorable. Good morning, Vera. Good to be here. Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, th thanks for uh, coming on the program. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, looking at what happened, um, let me take you back to not even AKT, the uh, 2015 presidential election. It's mm -hmm. about three years now, over three years. Yes, now and many factors shaping that narrative of this election. If you look at the defining variables to these elections and what also happened in Ekiti State, mm -hmm. uh, what are the lessons you could say that we must take out of that election, the Ekiti election, and looking ahead of 2019? Yeah, uh, well, based on some of the controversies that are starting to arise, uh, we would expect that. I, Nick, particularly would have had a higher level of preparedness because this is obviously a test for what is coming down in 2019. And we expect that if there are any issues, and already we, we're hearing uh, from opposing camps about a, a potential that uh, the votes that we are collated may differ in number from the actual uh, registered voters who were accredited to vote in that election. And if that is the case, then that is a sobering reflection that uh, INEC needs to uh, speed up its game and elevate the standard at which it is planning to uphold uh, its role within this democracy in this election. And we as stakeholders are watching very closely. And uh, we anticipate that there might be a little bit of uh, 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 frictions that may need to be resolved uh, on both sides. Uh, but all in all, it is a, is a major test case to what's coming, and we're watching that closely by the day. Um, because you mentioned INEC, mm -hmm. there, uh, there was a situation in the where the, the PDP candidate, uh, Professor mm -hmm. Eleka, almost couldn't vote because of the uh, card readers. Mm -hmm. And then there were some polling booths where there were reports that people had to, they had to resort to the manual you know, process of voting because of the card readers. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at that situation, how do you, without, with that kind of situation, how do you see it playing out in 2019? Well, it is a very serious and uh, significant issue because INEC has had all of this time to get their acts together regarding this coming election. And more importantly, this is so close to 2019 that this is a model. This is a model that needs to be watched very closely. And I expect, I and other stakeholders uh, in this political scene will expect that given the length of time that INEC had to prepare for this and they couldn't get some of this, which is correct. It's a little bit worrisome and uh, what we in the political space on all sides of the divide will have to do is to put INEC under a microscope. Uh, in my case particularly, I want to put INEC under a global microscope. Uh, there won't be any basis for any kind of mediocrity in this election because Nigeria has come of age and we do not expect anything less than a high-end delivery of electoral service to the people. Okay, well, well looking at it, um, because the INEC commissioner in that state said something shortly before during the build-up of this election that we have about 299 polling units, um, the flashpoints of polling units, and some observers have said, uh, giving credit, attributed this violent free particularly election in Ekiti State uh, was because of the deployment of 30,000 policemen. Do you think that was what happened? That's why we didn't hear of killing, snatch, uh, box snatching and the rest of it. Well, uh, there's a role for security agencies and uh, apparently the overwhelming presence of those security agencies uh, may have helped contain things a bit, but that is not the total picture. The total picture is that we are examining this election.